today we're looking at egg wash. What is an egg wash? How do you make it? What do you use it for? Is it absolutely necessary? First of all, an egg wash is simply an egg mixed with a liquid to thin it out a little bit. For the liquid, you really can use anything. Um, heavy cream, you can use half and half, you can use milk, you can even use water. Here at the bakery, we always use heavy whipping cream because it obviously has more fat and that fat is gonna brown when you put it in the oven. To make an egg wash, you take one egg in a bowl, you add, for every egg, you add approximately a tablespoon of your liquid. A little tablespoon of liquid. And then you use either a fork or my favorite tool, which is this tiny baby whisk. And you wanna definitely break up the yolk and just give it a quick mix until you can't tell the difference between egg and cream. You're looking for a homogenous mixture that's all one color without any clumps or lumps and then you're done. The tool that we're gonna to use to put our egg wash onto our unbaked pastry is a pastry brush. And you may have seen these before. They traditionally were, looked a lot like paint brushes with a wooden handle and these, um, I really don't know what these are made of, but nylon looking bristles. Lately though, we have kind of upped our game and there are versions that have silicone bristles, even thinner silicone. There are even models in which you can kind of disassemble the whole thing to wash it and put it back together. The other thing you sometimes need to look out for with the old school model is sometimes these little bristles over time will come out and it can look like a hair. And so that can be a little off-putting. I've had it happen from time to time in my home. Um, just something to look for. Here we have our finished egg wash and here we have our unbaked scone. And what you do is you just saturate your brush with the egg wash and you, you paint it onto the top of whatever it is that you're trying to glaze. Don't worry about the sides and don't worry about if it drips. So two things happen here. Number one, we could stick this in the oven just like this and the egg wash would brown and the finished scone would look lovely and golden and beautiful. But now we also have this canvas on which we could sprinkle sugar or salt if you're doing something savory and add an added uh, texture and crunch and element to the finished baked good. So what I'm gonna do is I have some raw sugar here, the turbinado sugar, it's chunky. You can also use sprinkles or regular table sugar is fine too. Just take a little handful, sprinkle it on top, and then you would put that in the oven the same way. You might be wondering if egg wash is absolutely necessary when you're baking scones or pie crust, and the answer is no. It will taste delicious. But what we have here are examples of two different kinds of scones baked with and without egg wash. The ones without look fine. The ones with look beautiful. So the next time you're baking a pie or making some scones, don't forget your egg wash and how to use it.